Hi, you guys. Welcome to Truth of What. Today's topic and episode is on relationship insecurities. So, Kane, now that we got this thing going about relationship insecurities, the reason why I felt like this would be a good topic to speak on is because, oh my God, I see so much on Facebook. I see so much on TV, um, different um, media outlets that have a lot of different a relationship um people that that I don't want to say experts but people that just get on and talk about relationships and everything but then they talk about the insecurities that go along with these different um couples that are whether they're in marriages whether they're just dating or whatever but you have so many insecurities in these different relationships what can you um throw out there um on some of the different uh, discussions or topics that you've seen or, or, you know? Well, man, I look at it like this, Benzie. Check. I, I, I feel like the topic of insecurities is, is, is a good one nonetheless now. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I think it stems from, it, it, at least as far as me thinking about it now, two distinct directives. Okay. One of which being... Whatever that individual went through in their past, I think that's the main one. That's a good one. Because it's hard for you to go through something and not think about that moment in your past when it's seemingly happening again in your present. Right. You know, it's real hard to try to not connect the dots to the two. Right. You know, also another thing is, not, and I want to say this is more so for females than men, but it, it may not be, and and the thing is, is is having other people opinions in your relationship, mm-hmm. cause you know, like let's just say, uh, you had that one person that gonna be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, girl, no, my man can't <laughs> call me talking about some old, right. hey, I've been busy all day. Right. I actually saw a, a post on Facebook talking about, uh, you can't ghost me today and then you know act like everything cool tomorrow oh yeah and they got another one where you know you i'm i'm not gonna be your coach so you just can't worry me when you want to pick me up and put me on when you want to and take me out and see that's that nonsense a lot of this stuff on facebook is super exaggerated for the purpose of entertainment and even the ones that are taken from actual relationships Mm-hmm. Those relationships are not the type of ones you want to compare yours to. Trust me on that. You know, you, you want a wholesome, fulfilling relationship. And, and and people don't act like that. The first thing to try to avoid these mm-hmm. types of situations is get to know the person you, you with. Man, but, we, we want to rush that, that phase so that fast. Take, that, that do take time, Kane, um, getting to know a person. But then you do have people who will put on fronts for however long they need to. They will play that role until they can get in where they fit in. So a lot of times you will miss the mark on um, that that wolf and sheep clothing of um, I mean the sheep and wolf. I mean the wolf and sheep clothing. I'm sorry, or um, this person who you know presents themselves as one thing and totally the opposite. So what do you do then? I mean, this this is what it is. We put ourselves out there. We really set ourselves up to be hurt. Mm-hmm. We really do because let's just say if if I meet you today, you know off top that I'm looking for a relationship. You know my end game. Mm-hmm. I put it out there. Mm-hmm. You know, so if you want to play with my heart, now is where you make a decision. It. Okay. You know, so you put on this front, but if I would have came in and like, hey, look, I'm just looking for a friend right now. Let's hang out. Mm-hmm. Let's get to know each other. Mm-hmm. You know, you're gonna be in a whole different state of mind, or at least you should be, because now, you know. I don't have no target end game out there in the open for you right. to exploit. Okay, but getting back into the groove of things and all, everything that you said is, is true and, and I feel you on. We have a lot of the insecurities that come along with these different relationships within the relationships. I mean, you got insecurities such as your mate want to check your phone or they want to ask you who's calling or who's been calling. You have a lot of men, and I, I'm speaking for the women, 
and myself, you have a lot of men that once you get with them and you're in a committed relationship, they want to know who's calling your phone. If you've been on the phone talking to other men, you um have the other insecurities such as um being out in public with your mate and then the other mate is um insecure about other men. Maybe they look better than him or her. Um, maybe that, you know, he or she don't have the confidence that they need, um, within themselves to where they feel like, you know, they're not that one in, in that eyesight. Um, also there are other insecurities that come along with, um, you know, arguing too much, um, instead of just talking and then letting it be, you know, without coming back and keeping it going for the rest of the month or the, the next month. Um, it's just so many insecurities that are out there that I can list and name, but we don't have um, all, you know, this segment to talk and, and list them. But just those fruit that I name. Oh, also, even in a lot of the relationships, there's also um a lot of things that happen that causes a lot of domestic violence where there are physical altercations um of course the verbal abuse as well and um so we um you know just just bringing up these different insecurities that lead to these physical altercations um which are not good for any of you that are in any type of relationship whether it's marriage or whatever um, nobody should be able to um, have that power over you to put their hands on you or or assault you in any type of way, um, whether it's verbally or physically. But, Kane, come on. I, I know you got some good um, um, pointers on a lot of these different things. Enlighten us, man. Well, I do want to say this. I, I'm, I'm glad that you spoke on, you know, power because a lot of things in a relationship are a power struggle. That's the... That's a problem in itself. Um, if we are in a relationship, man, we should look at ourselves as equals. You know, separate but equal. Mm -hmm. You know, um, not one having the upper hand upon each other. And, and and it's a lot of guys who feel that they want to be dominant over their woman and whatnot. And, and that's cool. I respect that. I, I'm I'm like that. You know, myself in some ways. But the thing is, you can't, you can't run her, you know, not like how you want. You can't treat her like she's your child, you know. Right. Above all, she has to maintain your woman, right. you know, and and not to say that you know this is this is your possession or anything. And and it is hard for us to get that through our heads, you know what I'm saying? Being a man, um, we want to be respected, we want to be revered. We want the whole nine, you know, and and sometimes we go about doing that the wrong way. We we, mm -hmm. we want to fight for it. We want to cuss for it. We want to hit for it, and, and that's not how you get that done. That's that's how you get someone to fear you and not respect you. Mm -hmm. So it, it's it's a fine line between that achievement, and a, a lot of dudes want that type of respect without even having earned it, you know. Right. They 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 want to be born with it, and that's crazy to me, you know. But women, you know, man, we gotta talk to these. Well, talk to your mate, whomever. Mm -hmm. Talk to them. Don't be so quick to rush into a situation. You gotta think it through, cause you know this potential dude that you just met, man, this could be your future right here, and you want to think carefully and cautiously about your future. So take your time, get to know them. Don't rush in this stuff, cause when we do that. That's how we end up getting blindsided. Like, oh, I ain't know this dude had a right cross that hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. And, and we want to avoid situations like that because a lot of times the telltale signs are there. But if you're not looking for them, you won't see them. You know? Right. Mm -hmm. um, the old heads used to say, you know, see how a dude act around his mama. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's well, right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, man. Don't wait till you get in a relationship to see this guy interact with his mama, you know? Because then you, you, you have we stuck, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That just makes the situation a little bit more difficult, you know? And, uh, and and getting back to these insecurities, man, it's like, first of all, a lot of that is, is, is a, it's a system of pride that we have, you know? Like, oh, ain't nobody going to check my phone, ain't nobody going to go through that, I paid the bill on that. 
Mm-hmm. Hey, that's cool. You paying the bill. I just want to feel like I can trust you, you know. Right. And I'm not even saying I have the right to. You right. know what I'm saying? Because I don't. That's your stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if you allow me the privilege of it, okay, cool, bet. For my own security. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um. Now, me, I'm not the type to go through someone's phone, you know. Um. I try to trust somebody. I, I feel that, man, if, if any... If any wrongdoings is, is coming toward me, I will eventually see it right. at the right time. Mm-hmm. That's how I, I try to feel about things. Um, so if, if, if that dude, if that girl is trying to 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 do you wrong, give mm-hmm. them enough rope to hang themselves. They definitely will do that. Mm-hmm. Right, and, and that's how you do that. You know, it, it doesn't take me sitting up here trying to come up with evasive ways to... To trick you from your phone. Now I got to sit here and wait till you go to sleep or wait till you go to the bathroom or, mm. you know, just some craziness. It's not worth it. I don't want to live in, I don't, not yeah. live, but I don't want to have a relationship that causes that much stress. And my thing is, Kane, even outside of um, the phone thing, you know, um, everybody's property is their, is their property. And you, like you said, you said the key word privilege. If that person um, trusts you and you trust them, then you will have earned that privilege to be able to use their phone. Or, or if you want to look, they'll be like, well, here, um, sweetie, look look through my phone if you like or if you want to use it, use it. And if you get the chance to peek, you peek. But now if you find something that you didn't want to see, that's on you because you went looking for it. However, um, the other thing is that I want to... Um, um, say before um, this segment ends is that um, whenever we're out with our mates and, and out in public or whatever be um, be be happy, be um, energetic, you know, make sure that your energy and mood is good when you're with the other person. Don't go around negative or bitter or you know, mad with your mate because maybe you guys got into it about something on the way out to eat or going to some some sort of family function um, make sure your energy is good. Um, if you did argue or have an argument, make sure you go ahead and, and, and get that squared away before you get to your destination so that whatever you're going to do, you can do it within um, a, a good manner. And then if you have anything that needs to be said or done, you know, do that once you get back home or before you guys depart each other. That way, you know, you didn't ruin the rest of your day and your time um, with each other. And I say that to say this, you know, we, we just need more love in our hearts for each other. Um, like I say, in the day and in relationship um, world, um, you know, we just need to learn how to love and, and have compassion in our hearts for one for the other. And when we do that, we'll be able to get along better um, with one another and be able to um, express ourselves um, more better um, to and, and from. So with that being said, this um, adjourns our um, segment. And so we thank you guys for listening and tuning in to Truth of What with Miss Benzie and Kane. Peace. And we're out of here.